there's two ways you can see the world. You can see the thing that you want, or you can see the thing that's standing in the way of the thing that you want. Your problem is in your measurement. You are saying you want something, but you're not doing the things that you say that you want to do that's going to get you to that. So if you were to do that every day or five days out of the seven days, you will get results. You're not getting results because you're saying one thing and you're doing something else. I want you to spend all your energy on overcoming your weaknesses because behind every weakness you overcome is another level of success. Whatever that thing is, on the other side of that is another level of success. I want you to look at it, look at it. Put some energy into that thing, put some energy into it. I want you to put down, I can, I will, I must. This is yours. I can because I'm capable. I will because I'm strong. I must because they're dependent on me. Don't you sit here and act like you've reached all your level of success. No, you have not. You have not begun to see the things that's about to happen to you. And I need you to understand that the bigger your dream is, the earlier you're gonna have to get up. The longer you're gonna have to stay up. The bigger your dream is, the more effort you're gonna have to put in. You can feel it. I want you to be able to feel when you're getting closer to it and closer to it. But more importantly, I want you to know when you dream your dream that there are other people who are dreaming the exact same dream. When you said to yourself, when the ball comes down, this is what I want to accomplish. You're not the only person that wants to accomplish it. And now I ask you this question. What do you do when a thousand other people want exactly what you want? What do you do when you're not the only one that wants to make a million dollars in your company? You're not the only one that wants to be the president. You're not the only one that wants to be the CEO. What if you're not the only one that wants what you want? What if there are thousands of other people who want what you want? You have to outwork them. You gotta outgrind them. You gotta get up earlier. You gotta stay up later. You've gotta execute and you've gotta go from 70 to 120. Party's over with out of time. Not time to be partying no more. Now it's time to create a legacy now. You had your fun. Now get your work. Now build a legacy. What's interesting here is that everybody wants a transformation, right? Everybody wants a radical improvement, want rapid success. But we fail to realize that small habits and little choices are transforming us every day already. Many people think that they lack motivation when what they really lack is clarity. They think that they need to get more motivated, that they need willpower in order to execute on a habit. If I just felt like writing, if I just felt like meditating, if I felt like working out, then I would do it. But in fact, they don't have a plan for it, so they wake up each day thinking, I wonder if I'll feel motivated to write today. I wonder if I'll feel motivated to work out today. But instead, you can take the decision making out of it by explicitly stating when, where, and how you want to implement the habit. It sounds easy to say, let's just start a plan, let's you know, write down exactly what you should do and then maybe you'll follow through on it. But of course, we all know that there are challenges that arise, it's not quite that easy. And the way to being something or becoming someone is through doing something. So every time you sit down to write, every time you practice that habit, you are being a writer. Every time you play a sport, you're being an athlete. Every time you practice painting or music or whatever, you're being an artist. And habits are not only the method through which we achieve external measures of success, like losing weight, earning more money, or meditating and reducing stress. They are also the path through which we achieve internal change and actually become someone new. They're the path through which we forge the identity that we have, the deepest beliefs we have about ourselves, our sense of self. And so if you can change your habits, you can change your life. If you can't get yourself to do the things you need to do, whatever that is, then that's a prison. Because in actuality, discipline equals freedom. That when you're disciplined, it gives you the freedom and the responsibility to be able to do the things. Because if you don't take responsibility for something, the ability to respond, responsibility, then you can't do anything. Remember that everyone is fighting a battle that you don't know about. Everyone is struggling in something. Those of you who are struggling uh, remember, remember that you are not alone, that you are going to get through this. If you remember the time when you thought you wouldn't survive, the truth is that you did, and you will again, and you will get through this. I, I've learned, talking about the power of choice, that these difficult times can define us, these difficult times can diminish us, or these difficult times can develop us. And ultimately, we, we decide. We decide the power of the decisions. And 
it can be hard to keep going. There are times when you don't want to get out of bed, uh, but remember you inspire those around you with your grit, you inspire those around you with your grace. Nurture yourself, nurture your vision you have because it's hard to stop someone who knows where and why they're going somewhere. It's hard to stop somebody that knows why they're going there and where specifically they're going. So what do you do? You do the best you have and you continue to learn and, and I promise you it will be enough, right? You hold the pen to your own story and we're writing it every single day and write it so the best is yet to come. Meaning if you were to project six months from now, looking back on today, what is the story you want to tell about not what was going on in the world, but what was going on inside of you? What was going inside of your world? And one day you may look back and you might be grateful that things didn't work out the way you wanted to or that you expected them to. And you might be in awe that all these challenges added up to make you the person you were supposed to be. But if you're going to be really good, you got to get it down to a few areas where you say, these are essential to my success. And what are they? If you worry about what people think of you, it's because you have more confidence in their opinion than you have of your own. Your decision is to do something courageous, and it may result in something greater than you ever imagined. Step out. Courage is not waiting for your fear to go away. We know this. We know this at the gut level. But many times fear still holds us back. There's a popular cliche that says, you don't know what you can do until you try. Life expands or shrinks in proportion to your courage. Courage is the door that can only be opened from the inside. You gotta feed your faith, you gotta starve your fear. What you have known and what you have done hinders you from being what you could become. Someone on the outside can't do this for you. You gotta open it from the inside. This means only you can do it. And you can do it. No one knows exactly the purpose of life, but what we do know is that you will be tested and you can't rise above the test. If you feel sad, lost, depressed, if your health is suffering, finances are in the gutter, social life, you're lonely, can't find it, can't find people that you want to spend time around, depression, if you're in a fog all day, can't find that happiness that everybody seeks. You have to see your future before anyone else, because trust me, you are the only one who really gonna see it. You have to create the life that you want. You have to start with defining your end game. What's the end game goal you want? Do you want to be a billionaire? Do you want to be the next Martin Luther King Jr.? Do you want to be the next Einstein that discovers new theories? Pick a goal. It's not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. Life is long enough and a sufficiently generous amount has been given to you for the highest achievements if your time is well invested.